Okay, so previously we talked about Rod's top five favorite fish. Correct. And then you mentioned about like in the States, mm -hmm. people are more concerned about the looks rather than the filtration. For example, in Asia, there you guys are more concerned about filtration. And here, it's more about looks. Majority, yes. The majority. Like in Asia, we notice filtration is the number one thing. They focus on the filter more than the, the fish. And the fish comes second. Here, they spend money on the fish and not on the filtration. You see what I'm saying? Why? Why do you think it's like that? Just different. Like Europe, for example, they're more into aquascaping. They don't care about big tanks. It's more like pretty aquascaping, grass, driftwood. They want to make it really pretty. Here, I feel like a lot of people now, especially the monster fish, the hobby went really high up. Everybody wants a big tank to put the fish in, but you can't aquascape the tank like this. You can, because you have a massive tank, not a lot of fish. But if you shove a lot of fish in there, they're gonna mess everything up. So, so I feel like in, in Asia, filtration is the number one thing. Here, the fish is the number one thing. And they worry about filtration after. And that's why a lot of people end up losing fish or, or not succeeding in the hobby because of that. Because we saw a lot of fish here that people are not ready for it. You know, and they'll call, oh, I bet it for two days it's not eating or it's not swimming. It's because the tank wasn't even cycled. Okay, this is interesting for me because like, uh, it kind of feels the other way around. Like, I've seen some people, like they're posting in like in the a, in a Monster Fish Keepers group with their tank, with a small tank with overstock fish and then they get bullied you know mm -hmm. but in indonesia itself it's such a common practice to do that to do that right uh for me i cannot really tell people what to do with their tank you know it's right. you do you you know right. you know what i'm saying but like all i can do just like educate them like okay this is what needs to be done this is what should be done right um i think a lot of times people just the ones that are really into it they'll try to learn from the beginning but a lot of times people just jump into a hobby without really knowing what to do, you know what I mean? And they rely on videos. Look, I used to have a 300-gallon uh, with a beautiful silver arowana. Actually, it was at 125. And um, I was on my way to the gym and I let some lady posted a 350 for like $400, which is really cheap. So it was about an hour and a half away. And I called my wife, I said, hey, I got this tank for like 100 bucks, I'm gonna go pick it up. You know, I never tell the true price. <laughs> so I left, I didn't even go to the gym. I went straight to pick it up got back, I'm so happy that I'm gonna give my fish more space. The next day I fill up with water, put the fish in, die. What happened? It wasn't cycle. No, I didn't I didn't know. You know, so then I start researching like, because damn, I did all that work for my fish and I was dead. So you you learn a lot as you go and you prevent a lot of problems. Like right, right. now, after so many years, you know, fish comes in, in a bad shape, you can just look at it and see what's wrong. Before you don't know, you know, you have to try different things to figure out. Now you get different medicines, different practices that you can do to save an animal. Yeah. A lot of people, are they like really into monster fish or they're still like a small fish or medium size? There's a lot of people, a lot of people. And sometimes, you know, I'll post a fish and people go in there, like, you know, you have internet haters. They'll go in there and be like, oh, that fish shouldn't be in the hobby. Look, that's the way I see it. Do you go to somebody and say, you can't have all those kids because you live in a one bedroom apartment? Mm -mm. Right? That's the real problem. People are having kids left to right. Nobody says anything, right? But you're getting government help, this and that. So why do you care if somebody's buying a fish that is not big enough for the tank? Humans are more important than fish. The idea is not there, it's wrong. So why, for example, you know how many people I know that can actually house an aeroplane? A lot. There's a lot of people with money and you know, with passion for the hobby. So they'll build something nice, not just throw in a little tank. Now, is there people out there that are irresponsible as well? I'm sure there is. Just like there's people making 10 kids in a tiny little house. You know what I'm trying to say? So, who are you, who, who am I to say, oh, you shouldn't buy that fish? You make your own decisions. I can try to help you. Like you said, you can try to educate people on what to do and what not to do, but I can't control, you know, just like somebody else. Like, if you're not a, a, a snake expert, are you gonna buy a little tiny snake or you're gonna buy a king cobra you know same thing exactly the same thing for example kids right they love that stuff like they love a red tail when the red tail comes up to you so a lot of parents in florida they were having like indoor ponds like a little swimming pool with their catfish right what is the catfish life it was farm raised for food 
So he's, he was gonna die, right? Now you're actually giving him a better life, even though it's an eight by four space, it's not the ideal, but it's still alive, it's still healthy. Better than somebody's plate, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like there is, here there's a lot of people that can house it, and there's a lot of people that cannot, and they still do it. They don't care for the fish. They just want to see it and then, you know, they kill it or they do whatever they want with it. And from my point of view, I don't know, like in here, but in Indonesia, that kind of behavior that rises another problem. Mm -hmm. Those people that cannot host them properly, they end up releasing them. Releasing in the, to the water, you know? Right. And, and then, it's hot, so they live. So Florida has that problem. In Florida? Yes. But it has a big problem with that, and that's why they're trying. That's why we moved, because a lot of, a lot of animals, not just fish, but reptiles, mammals, a lot of fish are starting to get banned. But the problem is not stores selling the animal. I mean, I think red tails and pacos, yes, they go to a little store and they sell it. They don't tell what what it is, you know. <laughs> we, we had them there, so say, hey, look, you want to buy that fish? This was gonna be. You want to buy that for your son? Oh, that's too big. Okay, now then go with somebody else. Uh, but. A lot of people in Florida, like I was saying earlier, they were releasing the fish on purpose so they can fish for it because they live. Now that's the real problem. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, I've released my marijuana here. It's gonna get eaten, you know? There's too many fish out there, it's gonna get eaten. But when you're releasing a lot of them so you can catch them later, that's that's the real problem. Okay. Whew, so I think basically we're having the same problem all over the world, you know? Like uh, people just it, buying. They're just getting fish that they cannot keep for life. Right, but it's not just fish. It's animals. Snakes. Yep, it's Anything. any any type of animal. You know, if you don't have the right setup, don't buy it. So like for you, like uh, if somebody order online, mm -hmm. do you like, uh, kind of like, how to say, like, uh, do you ask them like, how it's, big is your tank? And it's impossible how... because they're buying off the website, right? So we They have... can just tell bullshit. Right. Anybody can lie, you know, imagine if we have 60 <laughs> orders and I go on the phone, I'm like, let me see a picture of your tank. I can Google a picture of a big tank and send it to me, you know, it's not going to happen. It's, it's, it's by the buyer to be responsible and not buy what they shouldn't buy. You know what I mean? The same thing. Can I stop it? No. <laughs> I mean, at first I was like, I'm, I'm against wild caught fish, right? Why? Because like uh, the beginning. I was thinking, man, you're taking a fish from the wild, you know, like they're, they're home. But it's not the reality of it. The reality of it is that fish is already caught. It's going to turn into food. So by us buying it or whoever else buying it, you're giving that fish a second chance because otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to go in a pan, right? So by, by giving the hobby money, let's say for those countries, you know, South America, whatever, those fishermen now have a way to live and pay. They don't have to kill fish every day to eat. You know what I mean? So... At first, I was like, damn, taking fish from the wild. But then I started thinking, like, we're actually helping a population of that animal because they're going to be less harvest because those people now are making more money than they would if they're just eating fish, you know? They, they will value the fish more right. than just the food. Right. So they're, on, they're on just not going to overkill for to eat their, you know, to fulfill their belly. They can make more money by selling it and being regulated on the sale. So it's, it's actually, you're giving the fish a second chance. That's my opinion, you know? And a lot of these fish today, it's farm raised too. You know, all these animals, they're too big for this tank. So this is just all temporary. Once we, this probably right here will be like the rare animals. You know, like when we have a uh, lung fish big enough or golden bear mundi, you know, anything super rare will probably go in here. And then the other ones will. Okay, and I think I'm gonna stop this video now. And because you, uh, you mentioned about rare fish, next we're gonna discuss about rare fish. Rare fish? There's a lot of videos going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So see you guys in my next video.